Four slopes.
really pretty. Welcome back to South Georgia Home. It is a dreary Monday morning. I think we're before lunch. Um, it's dreary because it is misting rain. We really need some rain. Uh, it's not sprinkling. It's just a, a really thick mist. It makes everything look like a fog outside. My husband has gone to the Ford dealership to have something done with the vehicle, so he's out of pocket. And this is Monday morning, Veterans Day, so I am off of work. Thank you to all the veterans who may be watching, certainly all to the mothers and wives of veterans. My husband's a veteran, so we know how important it is to recognize the sacrifices made for this country and for us. We're going to get into this haul because we're going to do this haul kind of quickly, and then we're going to get on. I'm going to film the 65-mile yard sale haul, and it is huge. I have two boxes and a box top. Huge for me. Some people might do thousands of dollars. I spent maybe $100 on the whole trip. We were worn out by the time we got back from it. This was Friday, two estate sales. It was second day for both estate sales. First one was in Slocum, Alabama. It took me about an hour and 10 minutes to get there. And I had to go through, it took me down to Graceville, Florida, and then cut back and then cut back. I could probably never get back to that place again if I didn't have the address still. Um, <laughs> it was a little pricey. Like I said, not my regular company. Um, did have a lot of stuff left and the lady did come through while we were looking. It's all the room with all that linen. You should be proud. I didn't pick up one piece. Uh, she did walk through while I was in those linen rooms and say, oh, after three o'clock, everything will be half off. I knew I wasn't going to be in town at three o'clock. I was hoping to be home by three o'clock. I thought I'm not this. That's not an option for me. So Besides the linen, I didn't really see anything I really wanted to go back for uh, at 3 o'clock. Now, what I did get cost me, I think, all of $20. So, I went to that one, and then I went to my favorite estate sale company. I was doing one in Dothan, and I got there late. I got to both of them late. The first one started at 7.30. The one in Dothan started at 8. And I thought, if I can work it right, I'll get there, look around, and get on the road and get to the other one. Didn't work out that way. I was late to both of them. So... Uh, and then I went to two thrift stores, one the Rescue Rehab Thrift Store and uh, the good old Goodwill. Uh, so we're going to start with that just to get that out of the way. This, about, oh, I did put my name on a waiting list at my favorite antique mall. Um, so I don't know, whenever that'll come along and maybe next year before we actually get to get a booth space. And the reason I'm looking into booths, and we do sell a little bit on eBay, but a lot of the stuff that I come across is either something it's maybe it's too large and I don't want to ship something large or it's too complicated to ship. Uh, you have to understand when you're a reseller, you have to, if you're selling on eBay, you have to take into account the price that you're going to pay for it. And then the price of everything to ship it, the bubble wrap, the tape, boxes, all that that goes with it uh, and how complicated it's going to be to package. So... There are some things I run across that I, I just think, man, if I had a booth, I would get that and sell it in the booth. So now that I've been doing this for a while and I do enjoy going to the state sales and thrift stores, there's just too much stuff. And it's either get a booth or get a new house. And it seems to me, uneducated guess here, but it seems to me that uh, getting a booth is probably the better idea than getting a new house. So this was bought in mind with maybe having a booth someday, maybe next Christmas before I can get this out. I don't know. Uh, I am thinking about do, calling another uh, antique store and see if I can maybe put my name on the list there as well, having two. This one, this is not old, uh, or it's not older. It does have a manufacturing tag in it, um, so it's not handmade, but it is a little Christmas apron. 
I don't see any great stains on it. There's a tape or the um, ties on it. It does a little bit. That's not overly, overly done with Christmas. Uh, just a nice little apron. And like I said, that'll be for sale at some point. Uh, I really keep the really, really older ones I keep. But that one doesn't strike me as being really, really old. Uh, at the Goodwill, they had clothes on sale. So I only bought two shirts there. And I think I paid $5.23 for both shirts. It's a long sleeve navy. I have washed these. But I haven't tried them on yet. This is a, a brand I'm not familiar with. And it has the little thing here on the chest. It does have a hood. But like I said, it's like a t-shirt um, feel to it. Uh, and this says Ruby Rhodes. I think that's a Belks brand that they sell. I think it's really pretty for this time of the year. It has the kangaroo pouch up front. And the sleeves, you can roll those up has the cowl neckline, which I'm not quite sure about. I don't do well with turtlenecks, but it does have the cowl neckline. Uh, so I thought those would be uh, nice to wear around um, when I go out or wear to work. So that was the thrift stores, no, not a lot. First estate sale in Slocum. Again, not my regular company. It was like four or five little old ladies and one guy out in the barn. I picked this up thinking for resale. I thought it missed only one. Thing, but when I brought it home, I think my husband pointed out something else that might be missing. It's one of those little temperature gauges. Got the little men and women. I think something should be there, though. I'm not sure. And then my husband said, I think it's missing something here. It is made in Western Germany. You can see that here. Um, but yeah, it's a cute little alpine look to it, thermostat. But I don't know now what we're going to do with that. Uh, I think it was the very first thing I ever picked up. I did pick up a lot of Christmas, well, not a lot of Christmas, but most of it was Christmas. Um, this, I didn't get into the sugared fruit look last year. A lot of people did. I like it. I like the look. And I think I'm kind of lean towards that time period um, with the sugar fruit. But I have so much stuff that my grandmother-in-law gave me, like older, um, uh, older shining bright Christmas bulbs and things that it just wouldn't... Uh, I keep like I keep wanting to use what she gave me, and I still like that. And I just don't. I think they'll clash a little bit if I get into the sugar fruit. Now I, I'm asking myself why I bought this. Uh, again, some of this stuff may be bought with the idea of a booth in mind someday. So, but I like this. I think it's really pretty. It is uh, just something. I guess you're gonna sit it on the table. It doesn't have a hook on the back anywhere for you to hang it up on the wall. Um, you could put a hook on it or something and hang it up above your door or, um, above a cabinet, but I think you could just sit it on the table as is. I, the fruit's in great shape. I like this sugared fruit look versus a really, really chunky, sugary look on them. Uh, I like the, uh, the grapes. I think those are cute. Uh, and you'll see something like this too in the 65 mile yard sale, something, uh, similar to this. So... Again, don't know if I'm going to sell it or keep it. Uh, try to figure out what if I can do something with it at Christmas this year. Um, there was a Christmas room in the house in the probably what should have been the living room that had Christmas set up in there. Nothing too terribly old. Now, this was second day. First day might have gone. The old stuff really might have gone quick. But this was in the living room. I just picked this up because, of course, we got Crocs and stuff. You can set a tree in. Quick decoration thing. You got a crock, just set a tree in it. Uh, I don't care for the little red berries or the pine cones. It's only got three pine cones in it and a few of the red berries. So I'm thinking about maybe taking uh, some wire cutters and cutting those out. It was $3. You can see uh, the weighted with the little burlap, which I don't particularly care for this, but you won't see it if you stick it in something. So. And you can see how big it is. Three dollars for that. Now this, I saw this on their pictures and I thought it was cute. And when I got there, both sets were still in that um, shop garage thing. The guy was walking around. I said, how much for these? And he said, oh, I said, do you have to buy all of them? Or, or he said, no, no, there's it's two sets, four pieces. You can buy one piece. You can buy all four. I don't care. So I said, I'm going to get one set. 
And he said, $5. Um, and when I started looking at it, I said, I see a, a tag on it says $55. And he said, oh, no, 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 that must have fallen off of something else because there was a lot of equipment out there. He said, that probably fell off of something, you know, another piece of equipment. He said, no wonder these things haven't sold yet. People think they're $55 a piece. But it is cute to me. And I don't know, you could probably find yourself a little set of lights to put on him. Doesn't he look like, look like a dog? He just looks like a dog right up in his face to me, like a schnauzer or something. But he's in good shape. Even his bow from being out in the shed is in good shape. Uh, you don't see rat damage or bug damage on it. Um, bell rings. The only thing that is flexible is antlers. You can't move his legs at all. So, And his greenery is not falling out. The needles aren't falling out. And then this is the other part, the little sled. Like I said, you could probably find a, a little set of uh, lights to go in it and uh, light them up. But $5 for that set. This, I paid for that. And then I'm walking out to the car. I have my little bag filled. I think that was all from that sale. Um, I had my little bag filled and then I saw this and I said, I think I want to get this too. It is just a bag of crayons, but this was in it. I don't think I've ever seen the Brighton, Brighton, Brighton crayons. They do say uh, made in the USA by the Imperial Crayon Company in Brooklyn, New York. But the box is in excellent shape. You can see everything's still there. And then all the uh, 12 colors are there and they've never been used. So that will probably be for sale as well um, someday. Might hold on to it until July for um, the red, white, and blue colors. So, uh, and I think that was all I got that estate sale. I did not pick up any of that linen. I was tempted, but I didn't. So you should be proud of me. Really quickly, now, I did forget something when I was putting all this up. I forgot this. This was at the, the first estate sale. It was out in the barn. And a guy saw me looking at it. There was a couple of them there. He said, you don't see those anymore. And I said, well, I see them every now and again, but I don't see them this big. So it's one of those accordion hanger things. I have one smaller than this. Holds all my hats in my closet. You can certainly put this on the wall and hang your baskets or purses on it, whatever, whatever your thing is. And uh, it does have its hangers here. And that will probably more than likely be for sale, maybe in a booth one day. Uh, but that was it. should be proud of me. Now, the second estate sale was my favorite company. Uh, but I got there late. And, of course, most of that had walked off as well. Um, I did pick this up. It says, it's written in pencil, 1949. It says, Drucker Hilbert photo, price $1.50. This does not strike me as a family gathering. For, first of all, there's too many people in it. Um, but it doesn't look like a home. It looks more like a conference room somewhere. Like they're having a Thanksgiving dinner or... Or Christmas dinner or something with all the employees. So you can see there it says $1.50 and it's written 1949. And there's a phone back here in the windowsill. It just, yeah, just gives you that conference room vibe. Um, <clears throat> upstairs, there was a bed, uh, one of those, the legs were that turned look. It's a beautiful bed, but uh, we don't need it. But on the bed, there's a lot of pillows. There was a few downstairs I looked at, needlepoint pillows. I just didn't pick them up. This one, though, caught my attention. I love the colors. I love it. It's a small little pillow, and it has that big, great, great old big zipper in the back. And it is a pillow. It's not stuffed. It's a little bitty pillow. Um, I like those where you can just take them off, wash everything separately. But I like that big, chunky, needlepoint knit look. Not the really, really fine needlepoint, but this really chunky, older look. I thought it was cute. Um, picked this up upstairs, and I was feeling all around it uh, to see if there was anything broken off of it. You can feel a rough edge here and there, but I don't know if that's just natural, the way that the, I'm guessing, porcelain uh, did. It does say IW Rice which I believe is a Japanese thing. Yeah, made in Japan. It is a lipstick holder. 
Now, I don't mind lipstick holders. I even thought about you know, looking for my cell phone one time to keep in my bathroom. This just doesn't fit my bathroom, but it is a lipstick holder. Everything I believe is intact, so that will be for sale. Um, this plate was in the kitchen. I went through the kitchen a few times before I checked out, and I was digging through you know, plates, how they stack plates on top of each other. And I found this at the bottom. I'm kind of surprised it was still there. Macbeth Evans Petal Wear. It's only one. It's an 11 inch plate. I don't know if it was a supper plate or a cake plate as big as it was, but you can see it's almost like that clam broth look to it. I don't know if it's called circles or stripes. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, Macbeth Evans Petal Wear. Nice plate. And the last thing from that sale, this was so cool to me. At first, I was hoping it was used and I could look through a lot of things, but uh, it wasn't, it's never been used. So it might be for sale. School day memories. You can see the tassel. It needs to be clean. I need to brush that out and clean it up a little bit. But it was never used. Um, it doesn't have any kind of copyright date or anything in there. But it does have... The page class of 194, and then you can write in. Um, let me see, you see, you can see it right here 1904, so 1940, whatever year you graduated high school. And um, what was really funny, you can see the graphics are just cool, cool graphics. Um, one of the pages was, you know, all your favorites. You can write down all your favorites. Here it is. All your favorites. Stage play, your favorite actor, actress, radio program, magazine, records, swing band, screen stars, and screen play. So this is before TV was a thing. Isn't that cute? And in the very back, there's like construction paper. Um, I'm guessing where you could just adhere pictures or that's where people would sign. We had autograph books. Um, when I graduated high school, it was a little bitty autograph books. Everybody just signed, you know, telling each other a lie about how we're going to keep in touch. Unfortunately, we haven't. Facebook is a good thing, um, you know, for you to be able to find your old high school friends. But, uh, yeah, we all get busy. So, that haul, that last part there, only cost me $6 from my, my favorite estate sale company. And the plate will probably be for sale. Uh, the book will probably be for sale, and the lipstick holder will probably be for sale. Um, probably on eBay for right now. Uh, yeah, like I said, we've put our name down for a um, booth. We're just playing the waiting game right now. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, we're going to memorize this look because you're going to see it in just a, on the second video. We're going to do the 65-mile yard sale. We do have a little bit of footage where we shopped. Um, and then we have a huge haul, so we're going to get to that in just a second. We're going to try to get all this done so we can put this one out tomorrow and then put the other one out next week. So thank you for watching South Georgia Home. Please, uh, subscribe, recommend this to people, um, you know, pass it along to other friends, uh, like, what else? Leave a comment. We do read and respond to them. So thank you for joining us here on this dreary Veterans Day. And we hope to see you again on the next one.